I've got an early 1960s His Master's Voice Sprite transistor radio which I recently bought for about $50 off of eBay. I'm a bit disappointed because um, I thought, you know, it wouldn't work, but it did, turned on fine. But that's not stopping me from actually having a bit of a tinker because uh, those electrolytic capacitors looking a bit old there. As it's from the early 60s, we're looking at probably at least about 50 years old thereabouts. So I decided to pull it apart, give the uh, give all the plastic bits a bit of a clean. As you can see, it's a beautiful red, lovely red. With the um, schematic at the bottom, uses germanium transistors. Even so, I'm not going to pillage this thing um, for use to build, you know, to use to build the fuzz because God knows I've got it. Well, no, I don't have enough fuzzes. I've got 20 something fuzzes, but there's no such thing as too many fuzzes. But I'd rather have the radio all intact. Clean up the front dial. The uh, volume and power knob was pretty yucky. Now, one weird thing about this radio, it actually um, it's meant to use. 15 volt battery that isn't produced anymore so I'm just gonna solder a two 9 volt battery clips to this so they're in series change the capacitors to um, to higher voltages so you know they don't blow up because I'll be running it at 18 volts as opposed to um, 15 volts should be fine but um, yeah I figured I'd just document it for a laugh because it's the weekend and I've got nothing better to do especially not go to the grand final because personally I hate football AFL that is well actually yeah I don't really get into any football but that's beside the point I'm avoiding the public I'm avoiding the media and I'm going to tinker with radios because that's a hell of a lot more fun all right let's see how we go all right here are the old capacitors all out replaced by new ones Probably the lowest voltage one there is about 50 volts or so. Whoops, sounds like the neighbor's kids are back. Oh well, as long as they're having fun. And I popped a pair of 9 volt battery clips in series. Heat shrunk the existing connectors rather than, rather than um, cutting them off because I thought that's probably not fair. It's old, isn't it? So anyway, I'm going to pop it back together now. Here it is all back together. I um, probably still got to get there with a cotton bud and clean out some of this gunk in these grooves, but otherwise it's relatively clean. I did use a toothbrush in soapy water while trying to avoid um, wetting what little paper bits there are inside. I didn't want to unstick them, potentially rip them, but there it is. It's a beautiful red. All nice and shiny. Two 9 volt batteries are inside. Close up of the dial. Let's turn this on. I think I've got it tuned to 3CR because I want to avoid the grand final. Vehicle near the MCG. There we go. It's Artie Shaw and his orchestra. Working beautifully. Not just in Hawthorne, but in. Yep, yeah, football. Asian station. Let's put it back to 3CR. Comes out of the platform. This is a great little bedding right? Yeah, more football. Traffic jam as I am, but we'll now go. Now it's got an internal ferrite we'll rod. It. it doesn't actually have an external uh, antenna connection. Sure. So if I and, um, turn it around, it gets a bit weaker because it's not facing the transmitter. I'll announce it after. Stronger. Weak again. But it works nice. Now running off of 18 volts, two 9 volt batteries in series. But um, steam radio is due to start, so I might just leave it on and have a listen while I tinker with something else. See ya.